Daniel Levy spoke to the Cambridge Union and had some interesting things to say, Gab, about Harry Kane's future and being a club legend versus winning trophies. Okay, so Daniel Levy said what I would have said, but it's also what I truly believe, which is that this whole thing about, oh, all those ex-pros, one after the other, they wheel them out. They're usually, let's say, said a bunch of people who've played a bunch of, for a bunch of different clubs who stopped being fans a long time ago and they say, oh, he's got to win trophies. Oh, he needs to win trophies. He needs to go to Manchester City, to go to Bayern, to go to Real Madrid, blah, 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 to win trophies. You know my thoughts on this. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that. I wish Alan Shear would go to their house and stomp their heads in. Uh, helped by Matt Letizia and Francesco Totti. Because you know what? If you're a fan... Totti won a title. What? Did, yeah, well, Shear won a title too. But, yeah, but Shearer, what I'm right. saying is, but this idea, this whole, show us your medals, right? Like, David May is a million medals, or, or whatever his name was, right? <laughs> oh, I mentioned, what does that mean? I, I'm sorry. If you're raised in a club, and I know there's pictures of him in an Arsenal shirt when he was very, very little. Yeah. But, you know, he's a Spurs guy. Yeah. It may mean something more to you. No, of course. It may mean something more. And so when Levy talks about, you know, it could be a statue of him outside the club one day and whatever, that's genuine. Fair. And it just bugs the crap out of me. That's fair. All these people who sold themselves for the coin by moving to a bigger club. I want to win trophies. No, this guy's a fan. But that might be also how Harry Kane feels, that he wants I, to win trophies. Maybe. And, and maybe that's how he feels. And that is his decision. But you can't go and paint him in a corner and say, oh, in the same way it would be wrong to say, you need to stay here forever, even though we're never going to win anything other than the odd league cup. Yeah. It's equally wrong to say, oh, you've got to move on and win trophies. Show us your medal. Well, what kind of nonsense is that? How much is a trophy? How much would a trophy be worth if he moves to Manchester City and wins another title? What, as, 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 as Erling Holland's yeah. backup? Or playing in the burden. I mean, what? what why? No, no. Yeah, of course you can see it that way. But you can also see it that you work hard to also win trophies. This is this is the aim of the game: winning matches to win trophies. I I, I respect. I, I wish Harry Kane has earned the right to do what he likes. Yeah. The people who say that he's somehow not competitive or a lesser person or a lesser pro because he doesn't have all these medals. Yeah, no, that's, he knows, that's, yes, he knows that's, that the yeah, yeah, few yeah. medals that he's won at Spurs are worth more than a boatload uh, at some of these other clubs that have to have twice the, uh, uh, twice the wage bill. Fair Sticking with Spurs, Christian Stellini and uh, Roberto De Zerbi escaped the ban uh, after they both were, were sent off when Spurs played Brighton. Uh, the clubs were fined 100,000 pounds. Uh, does this make sense to you? Uh, no, but I think we've said that before. I mean, 100K for either club is, is nothing really. Well, why aren't we, they banned? If they're just players, they'd be banned. Why aren't these guys banned? This, this is what I don't get. So, but clearly you want the money. You can't ban and get the money, I guess. Or maybe of course you, you can. could, but, of course yeah, I know, you can. but like, that would be pushing you a little bit for something like that, I think. Hey, ban <laughs> them. To be, you, want, you want a sanction that is actually going to... like. Impact the team. Exactly, yeah. impact the team. The, the 100K fine doesn't impact. Next no. time, they're not going to think, oh, I can't go and have an argument with the referee I, or the fourth referee or the other manager because I'm going to get fined 100,000. I, I think it's one of two things. Either the referee was wrong to send them off, in which case you don't find them. Yeah, but but yeah, if they were sent off, they should anything. be banned. And by the way, when we ban people from now on, I don't want to ban where like, the guy's in the stands like with, with his servant next to him <laughs> relaying information. No, no, no. They should have it. If you're banned, if you're a coach and you're banned for the game, right? You need to go and sign in two hours before kickoff. Yeah. You go, you sit in a hotel somewhere with a chaperone, no phone, <laughs> no con. No, but let's no, make phones, it meaningful. Why? Phones, I mean, let's make it meaningful. Well, what kind of a ban is it if you're, uh, if you're communicating your instructions to the team during the game? It's not a ban. It's a joke. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.